This video is brought to you by TintWiz. TintWiz is a CRM suite designed for window tinters. From acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between, you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with TintWiz. For more information, check out TintWiz.com. Also available for download on iOS and Android. Don't forget your free 30-day trial at sign up. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take apart and take out the quarter window on the new Honda Pilots. The Honda Pilots came out in 2016. It's the current running model. If you guys have never tinted this front quarter window, it is a nightmare. Um, it has to be butted up just right. Um, and if you leave the smallest bit of light gap, either here or at the top or the front end, the driver can see it on both sides, passenger see it on both sides. So very hard to install. Um, and this is already done. So you can see there is like an eighth of an inch gap, maybe even a quarter of an inch gap right here. Doesn't go all the way towards the edge. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this quarter window so that you can tint it. Now, first off, we're gonna go ahead and remove the door panel. Um, so take the plate off the door handle here. I have just a little, little pick tool and you have a Phillips screwdriver and just go ahead and remove it. There's two screws right here. And then there's another screw right underneath the armrest or handle and there's only three screws so go ahead and pop them out now the one on the bottom is different than the one in the handle so just make sure you're aware of that roll the window down and to remove the panel just get your hand underneath the front quarter and just pull back from the top the whole thing comes loose and then just pull straight up and you're able to go ahead and put that here and you just hang it yeah i just like to hang it now from here you can get your fingers underneath here and just pull straight out and you can get this plate off and you can just leave it here or you can just disconnect it so it's out of your way next what you're going to do is up top here you want to pull this liner back and there's a phillips screwdriver phillips head right there Go ahead and remove that. And then from here, you want to take a 10 mil. Now these are the three screws that are holding on to the side mirror. We're gonna loosen those. Oh, I just dropped. Drop my screw here. We're gonna loosen those because we need to move this pillar and this pin, we don't want to damage this pillar because this uh, rear view mirror is holding up against the pillar. So we're not going to take it off completely, but we are just going to loosen it. And again, I just loosen it so that the, the nut right before the nut falls off. And then from here, I just go ahead and bring that back. And again, this pillar has to move back and it looks like it is vinyl wrapped and it looks like there's a little bit of damage already on it. Um, so this pillar needs to move back and, it, and we don't want to uh, damage the vinyl that's on the pillar itself. So that's why we loosen up the rear view mirror here. Now from here, you're gonna remove two screws. I did see a video where they removed three screws. There's a third screw right down here. Do not remove that one. Okay, but you're gonna remove this 10 mil right here Ah, come on. Gotta love hand wrenches, right? Mm -hmm. My power drill busted on me. All right. So you're gonna take this 10 mil completely out. Let's see if I can do the bottom one. And then this one right here, this is why you have to remove the, the panel also, to give you access to these. Jesus. There we go. And 
and remove it here. Okay, so this A pillar is also the channel that the glass rides in, right? It's not connected to the mirror, the motor, but it's the channel that the glass rides in. If you remove this bottom one, when you pull this back, you will set it off uh, out of line. So there is a video out there where they say, take that screw out, do not take it out because it's hard to get back in and it's almost guaranteed that it's gonna take the window out of alignment. This way is so much easier and uh, probability of it coming out of alignment. It still can come out of alignment, but I'm gonna show you how to do it where you, you just do it very carefully and very slow, a little bit. Now we're gonna remove this, take a tool here, a bone tool, and we're gonna work this weathering out. Boom. So we're just gonna work it from the corner and we're gonna pull it out. So it's just past here and then just right here, just enough to give you a little bit of working room. Okay, now at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the A-pillar this way and there is a clip right here, you're gonna wait for it to click out. Don't pull it further than that. You're just gonna pull the A-pillar and you're gonna hear the click, cause this right here, right there, that's it. That's as far as you wanna go. You don't wanna go any farther. Now from here, grab it from both ends, wiggle and slide the glass out. Just like that. Now from here, pull it out here, and now you have the glass completely out. Um, so, and that's how you do it. And then you just kind of reverse roll it all back in, reverse it back, and you're good to go. Um, if this if, if this does come out, the window does come out of frame, don't freak out, just get it back in line. Maybe roll the window up a little bit and get it back aligned, um, and you should be fine. It shouldn't take you more than five or 10 minutes. Don't freak out. Um, what I'll do here is that I won't, I won't cut film from the plotter at this point. Uh, I have to remove this film, but at this point I will just tint this just like this and I will just trim right at the edge all the way. And as I'm putting it back in and I'm putting it back together, um, I have to heat this glass up with a, with a heat gun. That way I heat the glass up with the film on there so that it, that it tacks up a little bit because if you don't do that, when you're putting the glass back in to this rubber here, you can peel it off. So also last tip here is that when you're putting this glass back in, put the front bottom in first and then slide the top corner up and over. If you go the top corner first, the bottom is very hard to get in. So, but yeah, just like that. It is a little intimidating. Um, I would suggest that you charge extra for this charge accordingly um, because you know as you can see it took me five or ten minutes to get it all apart but this is going to ensure a much cleaner installation it's going to go all the way to the edges um, yeah so that is the honda pilot quarter window removal i hope this helped if you guys like it make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to check out other videos and we'll talk soon